What is going on, everybody? James Hancock here. As the old expression goes, thank God it's Friday because a new trailer for Crimes of the Future just dropped. And I'm checking right now. I believe the release date is June 6th, just a, a few short weeks away, or at least early June. But this is my most anticipated movie of the year. And I'm not going to go over the entire career of David Cronenberg, what it means to me here, but I'm going to leave a link in the description below to a video I did where I tackled his entire career uh, not so long ago. And yeah, he's one of my all-time favorite filmmakers. And more importantly, he makes the kind of movies that we so rarely see. I mean, when he makes a movie like Crash, 25 years later, it's still like sending shockwaves through the, uh, the film industry with people just like clutching their pearls in horror that he's... Basically, he's one of the only subversive filmmakers out there who combines subversive topics with the highest levels of artistry imaginable in the world of cinema. And I just love, I mean, I'm not going to say I love each of his movies equally. He's, like any director, he's got some turkeys, but he's got like five or six of my all-time favorite movies to his name. And he's old enough now where this might end up being his last movie. So I'm rooting for it to deliver. I, I mean, I almost can't even talk about it. I'm looking forward to it with so much anticipation and excitement and intensity. So maybe before I just, you know, completely, totally start blathering incoherently, let's just go ahead and watch the latest trailer and see what it's all about. And that might help me put my words together uh, for what I want to say. So let's start this trailer in three, two, one. I can feel you pulling things around in there. That's disgusting. It's a brand new organ. Never before seen. A brand new organ. Kronenberg We've all said that the body was empty. Empty of meaning. And we've wanted to confirm that. So that we could fill it with meaning. Gross. <laughs> the world is a much more dangerous place now that pain has all but disappeared. Wow. Fetishizing pain. Surgery is sex. Mm. You know what it is. Surgery is the new sex. Wow, long live the new flesh. I don't like what's happening with Surgery the body. Surgery is the new sex. In particular, what's happening with my body. Which is why I keep cutting it up. Ugh! I'm already disturbed in the best possible way. Outer space. Oh. Whoops. Sorry. Let us not be afraid to map the chaos inside. This is so warped. Who was that chick? Let us create lacerations. That will guide us into the heart of darkness. Oh dear God. Sweet baby Jesus. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, after you've seen people talk about surgery as the new sex, it's kind of hard to go see um, the latest Harry Potter movie and look at it <laughs> with a straight face. So what can I say about Crime to the Future? Here's what has me most excited. There is a role for cinema as a dangerous art form that is too infrequently explored. Like when a movie like David Lynch's Blue Velvet or Mulholland Drive comes along, it makes cinema feel dangerous. Or when a director like Michael Hanukkah does something like The Piano Teacher, it makes cinema feel dangerous. Or Paul Verhoeven doing a film like Elle. And obviously if every film was just trying to disturb and upset people, it would get very hacky and it would get very lame very, very quickly because not every filmmaker has the artistry of someone like Michael Haneke or David Lynch or David Cronenberg. But when a truly great visionary director decides to go to the dark side and explore terrain that's never been explored before, the chances for something great happening are high. I mean, this looks like David Cronenberg going for new terrain to the same degree that he did with Videodrome, when he's like, you know, the phrase long live the new flesh will still get you legions of fans and new friends on social media to the present day. And that movie came out 40 years ago. I guess the question is, are there going to be any strange freaks 
who embrace the philosophy of surgery as the new sex. Who knows? Maybe there are people already out there who already embrace that philosophy. Maybe I've been too vanilla in my experiments with sex in my own life. But I like the fact that at age 45, as jaded as I am, as cynical as I am, I have seen so many fucked up movies going back to like the earliest days of my life, that David Cronenberg still has the capacity with a few images and a few scenes to send shudders and chills through my body. It looks like this is David Cronenberg absolutely operating at the top of his game. And I can't think of better collaborators from to work with than Kristen Stewart, Leah Sadu, and Viggo Mortensen. They just look so game. I'm sure they had a blast making this. I mean, like, can you imagine what it must have been like to be on the set shooting all this crazy shit? But they just sell it. But I don't anticipate having like a sexual response to this movie. If anything, it's going to be the opposite. I imagine it's going to be like a bucket of like ice cold water being poured on your lap. But who knows? Maybe there'll be some people who are like, all I want to do is watch Crimes of the Future. Forget Pornhub. Forget forget X videos. Crimes of the Future. That's that, That's my jam. At any rate, I'm rambling at this point. We only have a few short weeks until this movie comes out. I could not be more excited to see what happens. I guess the only downside is that it's going to make so many other movies over the, throughout the rest of the year seem so vanilla and safe and boring by comparison. But long live the new flesh. Surgery is the new sex. I believe in David Cronenberg all the way, and I can't wait, I can't wait to watch this latest provocation. So hope you enjoyed this very raw, immediate reaction to the latest trailer. And if you want to talk more about David Cronenberg, hunt me down on Twitter at Geekin' Out. But I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. But more importantly, as always, onwards and upwards.